Hello friends, today we will discuss about vascular tissue system or uh, we can say vascular bundles which consist of uh, xylem and phloem types of tissue. The xylem and phloem uh, occurs as a discrete stand and that is called vascular bundle. Vascular bundle. So, we will discuss each the types of vascular system and uh, different types of arrangement of uh, xylem and phloem in plant. The first one is the collateral vascular bundle. Collateral and open type of vascular bundle. In this type of uh, vascular system, uh, the xylem and phloem occurs in the same radius on the same strand. This type of vascular bundle is called uh, the collateral type. For example, this is the cross section and you will have the flowing tissues in the outer periphery then we have this cambium layer cambium layer this is flowing then we have this xylem part the arrangement of this in a, is in the same uh, radius that's why it's called collateral tract. Now, uh, there is another thing which is open type. When the tissue has the presence of cambium layer, then it is called the open type. This is the cambium layer. If it is present, it is called the open type and in the case of closed type, if you see the cross section of the closed type, there is no cambium layer. This is phloem and it is xylem. So, this presence of cambium layer, this is open type and this is closed type. So, these are two types of collateral open type and closed type of uh, vascular bundles. The second we can see this is the bicollateral vascular bundle. Now in this case uh, of uh, bicollateral vascular bundle two flowing poles occur in the vascular bundle and uh, this is centrally separated by a xylem strip. A xylem will be there and the inner part also has a um, flowing part. For example, I will show in the diagrammatic form. If this is a cross section, we have the cambium layer, this is the outer phloem. This is the outer flame. This is the cambium layer. Then you have the inner layer, inner cambium, and inner flame layer. And here in between you have xylem. So this is the bicollateral vascular bundle and in the picture also you can see there is a two cambium layer is there and in between there is the xylem part so the outer and inner phloem both forms the bicollateral vascular bundle and the uh, typical example of this bicollateral is a stem of uh, family solanaceae or uh, uh, in case of cucurbitaceae also. So, these are two family where uh, you find this type of uh, bicollateral vascular bundle and when you cut the cross section you can see the hollow part in between. This forms a hollow part, xylem part which forms a hollow part and these are two uh, examples of this.
category. In the same way, now you can see um, collateral type of closed vascular bundle. Earlier also we have seen this uh, closed type of vascular bundle where there is no presence of um, cambium layer. So in the closed type, this is mostly found in monocot. This is a typical characteristic of a monocot plant, monocot stem, exactly speaking. Said you don't have a uh, cambium layer, this is flowing, and it is xylem part. And xylem is further divided into protoxylem and metaxylem. This we will discuss further. So, this is a typical example of collateral closed type. Now you see, we have third type of uh, vascular bundle. Uh, this is a radial type, radial type of vascular bundle. In this radial type of vascular bundle, we have uh, alternative arrangement of xylem and phloem. That means, if you show in a pictorial form, we have this. Uh, xylem the same way you see here also then we have phloem in between Phloem is in between. This is phloem and this is xylem. So, this type of arrangement is called a radial type. This is mostly found in roots. Roots of plant, we have this uh, radial type of vascular bundle. Now, we move on to the next type of vascular bundle. Uh, we can further divide them into uh, two types like exhaust and endarched. Vascular bundle. I'll explain what is exhaust vascular bundle. In exhaust vascular bundle, uh, the the protoxylem, the xylem which is first formed, is towards the periphery, and the metaxylem is towards the center. Like in this case, if this is the periphery, so this protoxylem is in the periphery, and the metaxylem is in the central part. So that means, uh, in case of uh, endarched type of uh, system we have, the metaxylem in between, then we have, in the periphery we have, the protoxylem. This is arrangement of xylem, on the base of arrangement of xylem tissues we have divided into two types this is meta this is a periphery so this forms the exhaust type of Vascular bundle. Now we see the endast type. In the endast type, we have the protoxylem towards the center. This is the central part, and you have protoxylem in the center and a metaxylem which covers the outer part. So if this is the plant. Uh, uh, the structure in the, in the case of stem, we mostly found in the case of stem, we have metaxylem, then we have phloem. This is a metaxylem, 
and inside the periphery we have protozoalum. So in this case, in the enlarged case, it is reverse. In the enlarged case, we have protozoalum towards the center, protozoalum towards center and uh, metazoalum towards periphery. And reverse in the case of exhaust, exhaust we have uh, the uh, protozoalum towards the periphery and metazoalum towards the center. So this day we can divide into two parts. The next type is the massage and centrist type. In the case of massage, massage type is mostly found in fern, fern plant. We have uh, a protozoalum which forms uh, many, which, which is one of the many strands we have of protozoalum, and, and the protozoalum is surrounded by metazoalum. The protozoalum is surrounded by metazoalum. So this is uh, this occurs in many strands and uh, the protozoan located centrally and it is surrounded by this is protozoalum and this is surrounded by all metazoalum so this is the massage type now the second type is centralized type centralized type is we have only one stand we have only one muscular stand is there the main characteristic is only one vascular stand we have in a centralized type and in the case the protozoalum is surrounded by the metazoalum protozoalum is surrounded by metazoalum so these are the two different cases uh, on the division on the base of the arrangement of uh, protozoalum and metazoalum and uh, if we and describe about uh, protozoalum and uh, this is found uh, during the initial stage of primary xylem it is found in primary xylem and it is in smaller size compared to metazoalum metazoalum is in bigger size and protozoalum is in always smaller form and the metazoalum it forms the it is a, it's also part of uh, primary xylem that is differentiated after the uh, protozoalum uh, differentiation takes place and it is in a bigger size than protozoalum. That is the main difference between the protozoalum and the metazoalum. So, uh, the, the example of uh, massage type we have already said is fern plant and in case of uh, centralized type we have example of uh, like uh, De uh, Devonian species. plants. So, these are the example of uh, massage type and uh, centralized type. Just to revise from behind, uh, we have collateral vascular bundle uh, which is uh, spread radially and we have open type and closed type and collateral vascular bundle, uh, this is the uh, main characteristic of uh, open type is characteristic of dicot plant and in case of uh, Close type, it is a monocot characteristic. Then we have bicollateral vascular bundle. And in the case of uh, this example of a stem of Solanaceae and Cucurbitaceae, close type, as I told you, is of monocot plant. Then we have radial vascular bundle, and this is mostly found in roots uh, where the uh, phloem and xylem uh, are in the a case of alternative. Then we have uh, exhaust type and endast type. And the lastly, we have massage and centrist type examples of fern and devonian species. So this completes the part of the details of uh, types of vascular bundle and uh, and the different uh, types of arrangement of uh, vascular bundle on the base of uh, uh, xylem. Thank you.